Alright guys, um, I'm gonna show you how to make a live update. Um, this isn't gonna be how to um, update your program. Um, if you wanna know how to do that, watch my other video. This is gonna be like live news like some people have or like professional companies have for their stuff. Um, basically what this is gonna do is you're gonna enter text in a text file and then your program is going to read that text file and it's going to broadcast it to a label or a text box or the form name or whatever it doesn't matter what it is it'll just broadcast it live all right so first thing you need to do is create a live updates um or create some create some type of text file i've already done this right here i've created mine live updates.mdc um within that you can put whatever you want and then you need to go. To, you need to go to um, triple host, triplewebhost.com. Create an account. Once you do that, go down and click on File Manager. Once you do that, click Upload. Now I'm just going to do this again, just so you guys can see it. Click Browse. Scroll until you find your file. Whoops. Click the green check mark. And there you go. Now you can just go ahead and go back. Um, here it is. Um, you can now. I'm just going to show you what I have in here. Um, I got this is a live update. So yeah, this is where you can edit your text. All right. So once you do that, go ahead and open up your program that you want to do. Um, this is my LCMDC version 3.0. Um, it's still in the making and whatnot. So first thing you need to do is you need to add two timers. Um, on the first timer, this is going to be your text moving back and forth. All right, so it's kind of cool and whatnot. Go ahead and go ahead and make sure that says true on enabled and do the interval. I'd say 20 to 35 somewhere in there. Um, just so it's not super fast and they can't read it. So go ahead and do that. And then beyond that, you're going to enter this code right here. I will have this in the description guys don't worry so yeah I'll put this in the description for you and then once you do that go ahead and add another timer and do and once you do that do 60,000 interval seconds that's one minute I believe it is at least um, go ahead and make sure that is enabled too now the reason why this needs to be up really high is because if it's not, then it'll make your program lag really crazy and it basically takes forever to do something. So when it's this high or above that, or I don't know, I really haven't experimented with lower ones, but if you have it on like one or something like that, it'll really lag out your program. So just put it at 6,000 or customize or do what you want with that. And then go ahead and open that and you're going to enter this right here. So once you do that, um, go back to your FTP thing and then once you all right once you got in here um, write down get the name of your domain right here so you're going to you want to do FTP colon slash slash your domain here slash and then the text file that you have your update in so once you do that, just yeah, copy that, and then once that's done, let's see where's that label at? Okay, you need to open up your label. This just happens to be mine right there hiding, and you need to go to um, label mouse over, whatever like your label name is. Go to mouse over and then do timer one dot stop or whatever timer you have that set as it should be one and then mouse leave do timer one dot start alright so once you do that um, you should be good to go so I'm just going to go ahead and test this for you or not I was experimenting with that so yeah kind of deleted it alright as you can see my form is not lagging um, I'm just going to show you here, and as you can see, it's moving, um, but I forgot something here. Timer, timer 2, 
two. Whoops. Number three. Oh, um, you need to take this right here and put it on your form.load. Now, when it does this, it's doing, the reason why you should put it on both is so it updates the text when you start your program, and it'll update it every other minute, too. So, once you do that, you can log in or do whatever with your program. And as you can see, it says this is a live update. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and change this text here. Just to prove that to you guys that this actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and go edit. And oh, I Liberty City MDC version 3.0. Welcome. I don't know, there's something random. Click save. There you go. As you can see, it changed to Liberty City Mobile Database Computer version. I spelled wrong. Version 3.0. Welcome. Now you can do anything right here. Um, yeah, it's you can put links in. Um, they can't click it though. Um, and yeah, so it is actually pretty cool. So, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, um, please leave a comment or a PM me. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.